Miles Jones is one of the younger pro lacrosse players in the league and easily one of the most prominent and recognizable in the sport. Last week, he stopped by our studio in LA and we had the opportunity to ask him about how he got started in the sport and what he thinks about pro lacrosse. When you say, like when people say, what do you do, what do you say? I say, I play, I play professional lacrosse. Usually I get lacrosse, question mark, and it's, it's, it's usually a different reaction. Some people say lacrosse or they, they lean back and they say it. Some people either know nothing and I have to explain to them, you know, I give the hockey, soccer comparison mixture and then kind of explain it that way. Or if someone does know a little bit about lacrosse, then I can kind of talk to them about, you know, where I went to school, where I grew up, how I got into lacrosse. So the conversation kind of goes, you know, all over the place. But, you know, there, there is a sense of pride when people do ask me, you know, what do you play? And I'm 100% and I'm proud to say you know, I, I play professional lacrosse. Yeah, so my, my introduction to lacrosse is a pretty funny story. Uh, growing up on Long Island, New York, where lacrosse is played, you know, almost in every, every town, playing Little League football, one of my teammates, his dad, asked me, hey, what are you doing in the spring? And like any honest kid, I told him I played basketball. He wanted to introduce, introduce me to lacrosse, and I had no idea what lacrosse was. I'd never heard of it. I went to the nearest lacrosse store, Lacrosse Unlimited, picked up a, a stick. I wanted to play short stick, so I bought myself a short stick. When I showed up, they uh, sent me back to the store for a long pole. So I, went, I turned around after practice, went there, but I remember the first time just going into the store and picking out equipment, just picking out a helmet, gloves, elbow pads, and obviously as a young kid, you want to pick out things that you like. You know, I showed up to practice wearing about 15 different colors and a long stick on, on day number two, and you know, the rest is history from there. I played long stick for a full season, switched to midfield around seventh grade, and I've been playing um, midfield ever since. Every defenseman, Picks up a, uh, a short stick when you know the lights are off and practice is over, and you just want to hone your hone your craft. And when I was practicing on the side, it was with the short stick. So when I told the coach, you know, I, I've developed my skills. I think I am at the level where I could, you know, hold my own. He switched me to midfield, and I was able to take advantage of my athleticism and run around with the short stick. And I proved that my skills were good enough for me to, to play midfield. And you know, after that, when I got that small taste of what it was like to score my first goal, the amount of work that I put in to be a better lacrosse player skyrocketed from there. LaPierre now on Jones. Jones with his hands free, and he scores! Forget about it, just smokes LaPierre. Now Jones gets inside, splits the double, and scores! Right in there. How did that pass get through, Jones? So I chose lacrosse around my sophomore year of high school, 10th grade. Um, you know, I predominantly played football and basketball growing up until my, when I was in sixth grade when I was introduced into lacrosse. Uh, playing basketball and football, I was always you know, pretty big, pretty athletic, so I, I dominated those sports as a young kid. And lacrosse didn't come that easy for me, so I think the you know, ambition to want to be better and be able to hang with my teammates you know, led me to falling in love with, with the sport. One of my teammates, the guy who actually, his dad got me into lacrosse, he had the best setup in his backyard. He had, you know, he had a cage, uh, backup net, and I was over at his house every weekend, whether that was after a game we had or a tournament we had, we were shooting in the backyard or we were watching games on ESPN. We would watch, you know, Hopkins play. And then after that, we would go in the backyard and shoot the ball until we couldn't see the net anymore. And that was my weekend, every weekend for the full spring and summer. You know, it was just an obsession and, and love for the sport and watching guys like Kyle Harrison and Paul Rabel play when I was a young kid, just going out there and shooting. I think that just kind of, you know, skyrocketed my ability to play lacrosse. Jones works in. Hawkins again on the fence. Jones, Jones, he scores! Not much you can do there. Miles does a great job posting him up on the island. Think of a post up in basketball. We saw something similar right there from Miles Jones. My game has changed a lot, I think. I'm starting to play and see things a little faster than I used to. Um, you know, the defenses aren't, aren't the same as college. You know, guys are moving a lot faster. Uh, offenses are a little different. The game is played a little different. You know, I've been just learning how to play faster, shoot the ball faster, whether that's catching it and quickly releasing or catching it and, and having to scan the defense a little faster than I did in college. Uh, I think it's made me a, a better player. I've never played the game this fast. and. Um, you know, I, I like playing at this speed. I think my game and my style of play is, is really fit for uh, the MLO. You can follow Miles on Instagram at milesjones15. And let us know in the comments which other pros you want to see us interview. Thanks to Miles for stopping by and make sure to subscribe to TLN.